Hey folks, my name is Phil Dre, and we are back in Sevtech. Why am I dancing on top of the crafting table? Well, we are now in age one, which is amazing. <laughs> I am so happy to be there. Look, look, I can, I can examine stuff. I have Wayla again, or one probe. I'm not sure which one it is. It's one or the other. I can actually look at things. I can see, I can see that the bald eagle, that he's tamed and he's sitting. This is just, oh, this is awesome. I can actually see the numbers at a glance. <laughs> so before I do anything else, this, uh, well, let me, let me double check first. So well, the first thing you can see you can do is you can make a regular crafting table. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Before I actually get rid of that, let me make sure I can actually just make it um, the regular way. Uh, oh my god, I can! Yes! Yes! Look! That's amazing! <laughs> let me get rid of this! Break! Thank you! Ta-da! Actually, I'm gonna put it in the, uh, in the floor, I think. Give it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, this is... I can shift click stuff into there. Yes! This is awesome! <laughs> oh, Tinkerer's book. I don't even know where I got that from. Um, maybe when I was making... <gasps> Wait, can I make a Tinkerer's crafting table? Or is that... is that locked? No, nope, that is locked. Okay. I can deal with that, I guess, if I have to. Um, let me put uh, this up there, the rest of the stuff. And you know what else this means? You know what else this means? I can make regular chests. And I don't think it's even a complicated thing. No, it isn't. Look, look, I can make regular chests. Yes, I can get rid of these. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like, Blowing my mind. <laughs> uh, I did want to... I, I'm going to go ahead and organize all this stuff right away. But I'm actually going to organize it. I'm not just going to put it haphazardly into chess. Um, but what I wanted to check was... I wanted to look up up top here. I think some things may have... Yes. See, look at this. Azurite sample. So these were... These were... They look like... The regular stone before that that's a dire wolf. Hold on, let me kill this thing. There we go. Oh, what's this? This is different. Tea light sample. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm not gonna touch those right now. But yeah, they they used to look like this. Now they look like this. These are the ones that um when when they looked like that and you would try to hit them, they wouldn't break immediately, and they would sound like you're breaking dirt. I think it was. So yeah, that's that's why you don't want to break those because not only can you use that to tell what ores are here, um, you can also use it to uh, you can also pick those up and use them as as like an ore. Like that's like that's a piece of whatever that is. I'm not even sure. I'd have to look it up. So yeah, so let me see if there's any others around here. I thought there was some more. Thought there was some more around here? Oh, I think it was mostly over there. Yes, yeah, so we have a whole bunch of this azure right here. Um, I... It kind of looks blue. I wonder... Can I look it up and see what that is? Azure... Nope, that's not how you spell it. Azure sample... Well, that gives... That's copper! <gasps> that is perfect! Okay, and the other one was... Tea, tea light something? Yes, what is this used for? That is used to make tin. <gasps> that is perfect. Those are, wow, that those are in really good spots. That, okay. That is awesome. Let me see if there's anything else around here. So yeah, I don't even have to go looking that far to make bronze. That is fantastic. All right, I hope you guys are proud of me because look at how organized I am. I have uh, wood stuff in here. 
we got plants and seed stuffs. Um, there's some just extra bits in there. Tools and armor. Uh, Non-organic stuff. Mob drops. Flowers and like rustic plants. Uh, and this is just like miscellaneous, doesn't really fit anywhere else. And these are, I'm not using them yet, I just went ahead and made them. I actually, I kind of like these. So they have the storage of a chest, and if you shift right click, you pick them up and they keep their inventory. So that could be handy for like going on uh, long travels or something. But anyways, I want to get started progressing through this here. So, uh, there's just so many things to do. Okay, first thing I want to do is... Uh, make a wooden basin. So let's go ahead and do that. So basin. So it is uh, logs plus sticks. Super easy. Let's do this. So actually, I don't. I'm surprised I don't have any logs. Where'd they all go? Huh. I had them before. Did I accidentally? I think I accidentally turned them on the planks. Whoops. Uh, right. So, uh, I'll just use yeah, this stuff. Um, and sticks. Let's go cut down some more trees. There we go. One wooden basin. Um, I'm gonna put it over here for now. And what we can do with that is, um, do I have any water on me? I do not. Okay, let me go grab some water real quick. We should be able to just fill this up with water. Uh, I doesn't say how much is in there, but yeah. And then if we want to make, say, dough. Um, before... It used to be, you had to do this, you had to do the fluid bladder with the flour plus the salt. But now, you can do a bucket of water, uh, plus some flour, plus the flour, plus the salt. So, we're going to go ahead and grab three of the flour here. Should grab from there, but that's okay. Um, and one salt. Should be able to just, do we just throw it in there? What did it say here? Uh, do you right click? Right click. It makes a little splashing sound too. <laughs> and then should be able to just, yeah, hold right click there. I think I can just keep holding it. There we go. Three pieces of dough. So much easier. So now I can go ahead and cook these up to bread. I've actually been waiting for that because I just, it's such a pain in the ass to do with this thing. Um, and yeah, and you can also do that with, um, the whole leather stages. Uh, let's take and hide, actually. If we look at, say, what, tanned hide. Yeah, you only need one piece of resin, the bucket, and you can do three hides at once. And, oh, that's just, it's going to be so much better. It's going to be so much better. <laughs> so I am definitely looking forward to that. That's why I've been holding off on processing like any of my hides here yeah i have like 16 just like sitting there that i need to process so i'll have to do that uh, off screen um but anyways uh, another thing i wanted to do was uh let's go ahead and get the barrel stuff so bottom of the barrel barrel and barrel extension we actually kind of made those before um we're at non organics. We're gonna need clay. So, barrel. I think. Let me double check just to make sure. Uh, clay barrel, yeah. And, okay, clay barrel. It's not asking us for like the porcelain version. Okay, so that's, that's the extension. Uh, this is the actual barrel. Here we go. So let's go ahead and put those. Can I put them on here? Or do they need to go? No, they need to go in the kilns. Okay. That is fine. Two there. Two there. 
We just gotta wait just a little bit. Boom! Done. Um. Craft the barrel extension. I just did. Does that not count? Oh, is it because I picked it up first? Hold on. Let me see if I can throw it on the ground. Pick it up? No. <laughs> of course not. Okay. Let's try that again. Alright, are you gonna... Are you gonna... No, no credit. Do I have to, like, put them together? And then you'll give me credit? Uh, put it there. Oh, now you give me credit. Okay, well, this is gonna be a really tall one. There we go. Alright, that is done. Excellent. Uh, I wanted to make a... Dung pipe. Do I have to make both? Use dung pipe to pull items out of a block or suit to... Super pipe to pull items through a solid block. Cause I think it would be Hello. Uh hold on, let me just move this guy in with his parents. <laughs> there we go. I'm just keeping them over here because they're they're cute, but their squeaks are kind of annoying. Okay, so um yes, because I'd really like to kind of automate this. And I think if I can if I can use the dung pipe on this, then I can get away with not having to do the the flame grilled hopper or whatever, because those that would just be annoying to make. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and make that. What am I going to need for it? I should probably check that. Look at it. It's just some wooden slabs and some wood. I can do that. Uh, wood. Uh, do I have any slabs left? No. Okay, we'll make some. There we go. Good. Okay, now do I need to... So how would this work? Can I just go... <gasps> Yes! I approve! I approve so much. Uh... I don't suppose I can, like, put it directly into a chest, because that would be best, to be honest. And if I put it there, what's going to happen if I stick in, um... Oh, I don't know, a potato. Let's see what happens. Is it going to just fall on top of the chest, or is it going to go into the chest? Okay, it just went on top of the chest. That's fine. What I can do to fix it is I can just set up a bunch of hoppers. I can have like um, just the regular wooden hoppers going into a hopper mark two, going into a chest, and that will be that would be perfect. So I will do that. Let me just get rid of this here. But I will do that uh, off camera. Let me quickly uh, make those in stone. Um, right. So yeah, and then there's the sewer pipe version, which does the same thing, but it pulls through um, a block. So it doesn't have to be directly attached to it. I'm just going to stand here and pick these up as they come. Uh, aqueducts. Yes. Oh, also crafting a hoe. Um, let me see. Hoe. Uh, that's easy. Just some stone and some sticks. So I can go back there and then, yeah, that can all funnel into there once I get it set up. Uh, so, stone, some cobblestone, and there I have some sticks, like a hoe. Yeah! Alright, we are just motoring through these now. Uh, the next thing I want to do is... Yeah, let's let's take a look at the aqueducts. What does that require? 
because I would really like... Uh, it's just clay. Oh, that, that's pretty easy. I would really like to get um, water coming into my base. So I don't have to keep going outside. <laughs> and what that what the aqueduct does is you can... Um, I don't know if it says it here. Let me see. Uh, move water using aqueducts by creating a channel with the aqueducts on the bottom and any block on the sides creating a V-shape. Note this advancement requires that you place the block to complete it. Yeah. So this will take a source, uh, a water source, and it will continue it on a path. Um, I'm not explaining this very well. It will extend it uh, basically as far as, the, as you want to go with the aqueducts. So, for example, what I could do, let me just shoot up here. There's this water source, so I could have aqueducts going under the ground to inside of my base, so I can actually use the water in there. I mean, I'll, actually, what would probably be a better idea, let me just move over this way. is I could bring water from over here. That would probably be a short distance. I'd have to make less of them. Yeah, I think that would be a better idea. Okay. Uh, you just, I think you can't really go up with the water. I think you need like a screw pump or something like that if you, if you want to go up. But my base is actually lower than, yeah, the water. Yes, that would be much better actually. And I could have it coming in, I don't know, like over here maybe or something. That would work rather well. So if, uh, let me see, is there anything else easy to make? Yeah, so I'll do that in a little bit. First, I want to make um, some pretty easy stuff here. So a channel, what is a channel? How do you make a channel? Uh, it has to be porcelain. Okay, I'd have to make porcelain for that. Um, what else do we got? Uh, an anvil. Okay. If we look up anvil, that is stone slabs and stone. I'm pretty sure I have both of those. I'm going to need to make more stone slabs. Uh, so let's do that real quick. There we go. God, I love this. I love the crafting table. <laughs> I have never been so thankful of a regular crafting table until now. Oh, yes. Perfect. Done. All right. Uh, this can go... You know what? This stuff is actually going to get moved because of where the water is going to come in now. I thought I was going to bring it in from over there, but yeah, that, this is actually closer to bringing it in over here so I can put that there and that can just go on the wall for now what did I oh one must have come with it okay <laughs> not not gonna question it all right what's next um Oh, a regular old furnace. Yes. Let's let's make that. Is it is it just going to be like the regular recipe? Oh my god. <laughs> so easy. Woo. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. I mean, I have it, but I don't know if I'll really use it that much. Uh, it can go uh just right there for now because honestly I like these better they're just having like the infinite um, the infinite fuel basically is just it's so much better uh, what else oh a bed I could definitely use bed so and I can actually sleep inside I don't have to sleep in my teepee so I need leaves and hay bales. Do I have enough wheat? Uh, not there, but I think I have more upstairs. If 
you'll bear with me. Oh, I should, actually, oop, oop. I should actually check to make sure I have leaves. Um, no, I do not. I thought I, I don't know where they went. Huh, thought I did at some point. That's weird. I must have used them. Okay, let me go grab some leaves with my shears and I'll also grab some wheat. Okay, I went ahead and harvested my whole farm and I just put the stuff in there. And uh, now we can make the bed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We're gonna need three of these. And then combine it with some leaves. Boom! One bed. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Uh, and this, um, I mean, it's just gonna go right there. <laughs> Ah, that, that's fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep in it. It is night anyway, so might as well. There we go. Spawn point set. All right. Uh, let me just quickly put some stuff away. Okay, another easy thing we can make is a plumb line. Use a plumb line to discover your Y level. All right. So, I think it's easy. Plum line is okay, so some sort of rock. Ah, uh, okay. Plus a two bolts of string. Okay, that's oh, spindle. What do you make spindle? Oh, it's just some sticks. Okay, that is doable. Where is uh string is in here? Okay. Did I no, I don't have sticks on me. Got some sticks. Alright, so Two spindles. Then we're going to make two of these. Uh, oh, and I forgot the rock. Uh, let me grab just one rock. Oh, apparently I get the spindles back. All right. Bottom line. So I'm at y57 right now and down here is okay yeah 40 54 down here 46 cool that's gonna come in handy uh next thing is prospecting can i can i make that a weak dowsing rod to help you locate ore. Okay, so that is any sort of log plus some sticks. So we're gonna need logs again. I really don't want to use up my, my dark oak wood though. Let me go quickly chop down some trees. I'll be right back. Okay, when I got myself a whole bunch of logs, I still have so many trees up there that I can cut. Uh, and let's go ahead and make this weak dowsing rod. Yes! Oh, did I get... Oh! What's this? Field manual, huh? Uh, okay, ooh, wow. Ah. Uh... Geosis? No, Gelosis. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, works in mechanics very similar to those from Terra Firma Craft. That's actually something that I I kind of wanted to play. I just never seemed to get a trance. And it also seems very grindy. <laughs> so I don't know if I'd actually like it in the long run. Um, let's see here. Oh, I should probably read that. Uh... Samples generate on the surface within the same vein as the corresponding, or when, within the same chunk as the corresponding mineral vein. Um, the configuration allows you to get a small sample of what the entire vein will yield by the right clicking or breaking the sample. Prospecting early game might be hard, but know that once you find a sample, um, it's within that chunk, generally in the center. 
Make yourself a prospector's pick ASAP to make the process easier. I don't think that's something I can do. No, not yet. Ah, uh, crap. Back to that. Uh, okay, so the... The clusters act as ore material, ore material themselves. Yeah. Um, the ore blocks you find in the world are useless, but the cl cluster is what can be processed. Okay. Vanilla stone variants are now clustered in large plutons? Instead of generating sporadically throughout the world. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> okay, I actually found coal somewhere. Um, it was... I don't know if you can see it up there. I think I made a marker where it was. So, yeah, that's there. Um, we can't see those yet. I did find, yes, azurite. Um, and also tea light. So that's copper and tin. So I want to I wanna check this out here. So what, so this just looks downwards, right? Oops, where am I going? That is not the direction I want to go. And up. Okay, so here, this is azurite, so this is the copper. Whoa, oh, crap. <laughs> this is not what I meant to do. Okay, don't, don't use the prospect. <laughs> don't use the drowsing rod on that. Uh, right. So I can see which chunk this is in. Okay. Uh, if I hit it again... Oh yes, it shows the grid. So somewhere within this chunk is the... is the ore cluster. See, there's more. Damn it. <laughs> did it again. What did it say for the azure again? Let me... Find it. Um, why twelve? Oh, jeez. <laughs> why, why twelve to uh forty eight? So if I'm at, uh, let me get the plumb line. It might be too high. Okay, so 75 minus 48. I'm not good at math in my head. Hold on one sec. This is why I have a calculator app on my phone. I thought it was on 27. Okay, so we should be able to detect it with the, uh, with the dowsing rod. It's just a matter of actually finding where the dang thing is. Oh, and it has a cooldown. I just noticed that. Where, where are you? Aha! Okay, I don't know why I wasn't working on that chunk, but in this chunk, look, I just found four. So, two, six, six, six. This is like, if my thing is over there, my, uh, my little pillar, this is like really, really close to my base. Yeah, this is like almost inside. My, it's either inside my base or very close to inside. Okay, so it looks like it's around there. Um, that's where the clump is. Kind of in this, close to this corner here. Yeah, yeah, definitely close to this corner. Okay. I'm kind of curious to see if we can find it. So this is, let me kind of stand in the middle of the chunk. Um, open up my book and let's see how accurate I can get with this this thing here. Add a marker for copper. And now, okay, so if we go downstairs, yeah, it's in the chunk right next to this here. So it's right in this chunk. Somewhere.
and it was in this corner. Okay. So I might dig a little offshoot here. And uh, just off, off of this maybe. And start digging down. See if I can find it. 